video. We're back with another video. Today we're going to be learning how to do the Allen Iverson crossover. But before we start the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next. So, as you know, everybody knows who Allen Iverson is. Top point guard for the Philadelphia 76ers back in around 01, 2000s era. Allen Iverson took the NBA by storm by being a small guard with shifty, shifty hands. So the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to split the video into three parts. The first part is going to be the setup. So what Allen Iverson likes to do, he likes to set up the defender with an initial cross before he does his first cross. Or he'll just slow down the pace and wait for it to see what the defender bites on. This is just reading your defender, seeing what he moves for. So you want to practice first by having a decent setup. Maybe change speed, change direction. You don't have to keep his, his setup the same way he does. What he likes to do is mimic the first crossover he does with a, um, with a slower pace. And then he, kills, he comes in with the killer crossover. So that's step one. Okay, now we're on to step two. With step two, what you want to work on is lunging your foot out forward like this. Because what Allen Iverson likes to do, he likes to step outside of the defender's base. So you want to start, you want to lunge your yeah, your foot, your right foot or left foot, whatever foot you cross over with, out forward like this, as far as you can, and plant it. So just work on, we're gonna work on planting our foot. And also, when you're planting, you wanna lean to this direction you're going, like you're about to drive. This is gonna confuse the defender and make him think that you're going this way, but you're actually about to go on this way. Okay, now we're ready for step three. For step three, you clench your foot, you're gonna shift back over to the left side. So it's gonna look something like this. Just be careful that you're not carrying on the cross. Make sure your hand doesn't go under the ball. You wanna keep your hand on the side. You wanna make the ball hover. So how you do that is, same way you do it in and out, you just wanna hang your hand over the side of the ball. Make sure you lunge out, give a little head fake. Just like that. Okay, that's step three. I'm gonna show you how to get it. I'm gonna put it all together and I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you add this move to your game because it's very effective. We're wanting to get to the rack. We're wanting to take a shot. It's a very effective move. Please like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, what move you would like to see, other uh, tutorials. We can do shooting. Anything that y'all want to see, just let me know. Y'all be safe and God bless.